It's your girl Venus and I'm back at it again with a video. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. Let me show you how to make this oil. These are the ingredients you're going to need. Fenugreek, it's amazing for hair growth and it smells like maple syrup. Of course, olive oil is a great carrier oil. Castor oil, my hair just eats it up. You hear me? Castor oil is nature's Botox, literally for the skin. And last but definitely not least, rosemary. Also, please disregard my nails. I'm working on a YouTube video for you guys, so ignore them, please. I decided to keep the ingredients for this oil simple. You can add any oil that you like or any other dry ingredients. I make a lot of herbal infused hair growth oils. So if you like this type of content, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can be a part of La Familia. Let's get started. First things first, get a funnel to make this process easy. I'm really excited to share this recipe because I know it's going to help so many people. Starting off with fenugreek. Fenugreek is amazing for extreme hair growth. It softens the overall texture of your hair. It nourishes the hair shaft. It also treats scalp issues. So if you're dealing with dandruff, fenugreek will be your best friend. It also revives damaged hair. Yes, and it prevents premature graying. And like rosemary, it also prevents hair loss slash shedding. And if you're struggling with inflammation on the scalp, dandruff, soreness, this will help soothe your scalp. Rosemary is amazing. It also improves circulation to the hair follicle. Fenugreek and rosemary is a great combination for scalp health which is why this oil is great for extreme hair growth. You can add whatever oil you like. You can add grapeseed oil, avocado oil, almond oil, but for this video, I'm using castor oil and olive oil. I'm using 100% castor oil, which I got from my local Indian store. You can even use black castor oil for this. Just make sure it's 100% castor oil. I just love how thick and rich this oil is. So when you go to the store and you pick up your castor oil, make sure you read the back. It should only have one ingredient, which is castor oil. If it has two, three or more, it is not pure castor oil. You should not be using that. I'm going to add more olive oil than castor oil. Olive oil is a lot thinner than castor oil and it works great as a carrier oil. Feel free to add any other oil that you like. This is just what I use for this particular oil. Wow, look at it. Mm -mm -mm. I'm in love. Can you believe that this simple, easy to make oil will have you reaching your hair goals? It's literally a no-brainer. It's a win-win. Stop buying these expensive products. Use this oil. Take before and after pics. And I promise you, you will get results a lot quicker. Now we're going to give this bad boy a good old shake. Good old shakedown. By the way, I like to make all of my oils in glass bottles. I do not use plastic bottles. I personally only use glass bottles when I make my herbal infused hair growth oils. With that being said, anytime I make an infused oil, I like to let it sit. The longer it sits, the more potent and stronger it is, which only means guaranteed results, quick results, rapid results, extreme results. <laughs> Let me give you some options on how to use this oil. You can warm this oil up and use it as a hot oil treatment. You can use it to massage your scalp. You can use it as a pre-poo. I have locks and I like to massage it in to nourish and moisturize my scalp. I also like to coat my strands with this oil after I mist and hydrate my hair with my rosemary water. Now, keep in mind that I do have to strain this oil. I do this after I let it sit for a few weeks. Comment down below if you want to see a video on how I do this. 
you want to make sure you strain this oil well because you don't want to have any little particles left in your hair especially if you have locks you really want to make sure because it can be challenging to remove all of those particles from your locks i like to shake it for a few minutes and i'm just admiring how good this looks and while I'm shaking, I almost forgot. Let me add this bonus oil in. This oil has similar properties like the fenugreek and rosemary. It's beneficial for the scalp. It helps combat dandruff, keeping the scalp moisturized, and improves hair density. This magic oil is black seed oil. I decided to add a little bit last minute. I recently started intaking black seed oil and the benefits are amazing. I recommend you do your research because it is worth it. So why not add it into this magic potion? You want to make sure you store your oil in a cool, dark area. Make sure you put the date on there so that you know how long it's been sitting for. And please do not forget to strain your oil because you're going to have all these little particles in your hair and that's no fun. If you made it to this part of the video, thank you so much for watching. I am excited for you to try this oil. Please, please, please comment down below. Tell me how you're using it. This oil would definitely help anyone that is struggling with hair loss, shedding, thinning, breakage. If your hair lacks shine, go ahead and use this as a hot oil. Use this oil to heal your scalp and extreme hair growth is right around the corner. See you in the next video. Mwah.